Welcome to O'Reilly Maths and this is video number 16 from the Algebra Misconceptions series of videos. The question reads, which of the following is equal to 5 to the power of 0? Explain why. And you have four options, 1, 0, 5 or 50. So if you'd like to pause the video and try this question now. Okay, well, 5 to the power of 0, before we have a look at that, I just want to look at some other ones that we might know the answer to, such as 5 to the power of 3. Now, 5 to the power of 3 is equal to 5 by itself 3 times. So that is 5 by 5, which is 25, by 5 again, which is 125. So you can check this in your calculator. Okay, so then... Let's think about 5 squared. Well, 5 squared is 5 by itself, which is 5 by 5, which is 25. And if we follow the pattern on the left, we can see that we're going, the power is decreasing by 1. 3, 2, 1. So 5 to the power of 1, uh, as some of you may already know, 5 to the power of 1 is just 5 just five ones. So it's just five pair one is just five. Okay, so if we follow the left hand side now, if we follow the patterns down, so it's gone from three, two, one. So by pattern the next number there would be zero. So five to the pair of zero. Now if we have a look at what's happening on the right hand side here we're looking at these numbers, the 1, 2, 5, the 25, and the 5. What's happening as we move down here? Well, to get from 125 to 25, we actually divide that by 5. And to get from 25 down to 5, we divide by 5. So you can see the pattern developing here as you move down the right. We're dividing by 5, and as we go down the left, we're decreasing the power by 1. So if we follow this logic and divide by 5 again 5 divided by 5 is 1 so 5 to the power of 0 is 1 which is the answer in part a now this can be done uh, with any number it doesn't have to be 5 to the power of 0 it could be 2 to the power of 0 you could do the same thing so we actually get a rule of indices from this which says that any number to the power of 0 is equal to 1. And you can try this on your calculator, just put any number in, doesn't matter if it's a decimal, a fraction, any number at all. And if you raise it to the power of 0, you will always get the answer 1. 